Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss all the functions of the ADO S866 display so I'm going to go through all the available settings so I'm going to enter the menu by pressing the two buttons plus and minus and I get to P01 which is the first parameter this is the backlight level for the display and you can change that, you can see it varies in brightness then on the next P02 that is the mileage unit and you get a zero for a kilometer and one for miles so you can change that p03 it's for setting your default battery voltage so i'm running the bike with a 36 volt battery but i can change this to 48 and 60 volt and 24 of course this works only with 36 and the controller also supports 48 so don't select something that is not right this doesn't affect how the bike runs but it will affect how the battery gouge here will show the remaining battery capacity right so let's see the next one the p04 this is the sleep timer so in 10 minutes if i don't ride my bike the controller will shut down if i haven't shut it down already by myself all right let's go back so p05 this is the power assist mode and um, the modes for power assist the bike comes default with zero that means you have three levels here and zero but if you change this to uh, something like one or two I'm going to go to the maximum setting which is two you are going to have a lot more assisted modes here but not assist modes because the bike will also work only one in one assisted mode but you get here more levels so those work as speed limits and you can have up to nine speed limits and the assisted mode will work in something like uh, uh, two three and four uh, it's the same assisted power level it will not vary but from five to nine uh, you are going to get uh, uh, various uh, levels of uh, speed limit while going on uh, full electric mode Let's go back to the settings. I'm going to put this back to zero because I don't want so many modes that do the same thing. So P06, this is uh, the wheel diameter, which is uh, 20 inch, and you can finally adjust that, but uh, it's very well uh, adjusted. It's almost the same with the GPS. P07 is for number of uh, speed magnets for the motor don't adjust that you can see the default value here but it's not uh, set up properly because this is a motor with hole sensor and the number of magnets is not uh, entirely used that is mostly for reporting the correct speed to the controller then p08 you already know this if you have seen my previous video this is for uh, unlocking the speed limit it's now set at 100 kilometers per hour the bike definitely will not do that speed but will go faster than 25 kilometers when you are on uh, full electric mode the next one is p09 this is the uh, zero start or non-zero start setting when it's zero here you can start the bike with the electric throttle from standstill if it's set to one then you have to pedal and get some speed first and only then the accelerator will become available to uh, start the motor and then you have p10 this is for setting up the drive mode so on zero it's uh, only assisted mode on uh, lev on one it's only um, electric drive and on two it's combined so you have assisted mode and electric drive actually on this uh, bike this uh, setting doesn't work properly so on one I should have only assisted mode on two only electric mode by the throttle and on uh, two I should have them combined sorry zero for uh, um, zero for assisted one for full electric and two for combined uh, on this bike it doesn't matter how you choose them it will affect nothing uh, but uh, you can disable the throttle enable that from another setting the next one is uh, p11 uh, and this is the uh, sensitivity for the c system so it has one for almost no delay and up to 25 24 levels of delay this is uh, uh, how fast the bike will pick up the pedaling um, of your uh, 
a crank and if it's at 1 it will start the motor right away if it's at 24 it will wait and you are going to pedal 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 and then it will actually start the motor this is very useful if you want to save power you can set that to the highest delay and then on assisted mode uh, you are going to pedal put the effort when starting the bike and then the bike uh, will run on electric and help you then you have P12 and this is the power of uh, the acceleration in electric mode so if you are at uh, zero here you won't get any kind of electric acceleration so this is used for disabling the throttle and then you have slow start medium start and so on until uh, the fifth level which is the maximum and this will give you the full power of the controller then on P13 you get the magnetic uh, steel type this is a, a setting that you should not modify this is for the assisted sensor type so that should remain as it is if it works properly don't adjust it on uh, p14 we get the amp current limit this doesn't kind of work with this controller so the controller has 15 amps you set here 15 amps theoretically you should uh, be able to decrease the power and not go over the maximum power of the controller and that should kind of limit the overall power of the bike on 15 you get the low voltage level so you program the controller when the battery is at 29 volts it should start shut down so it doesn't over discharge the battery and that's the default setting uh, you can increase that a bit so the bike will stop uh, faster uh, this should also show you earlier that the battery is over when you increase the limit and that should reduce the wear on the battery on P16 you get the auto and you can reset the setting here if you want to in case you replace the battery the motor and or you take this controller and put it on a new bike you can reset the overall odometer then on uh, 17 you have the uh, cruise control option and you can enable or disable it sadly on this bike I haven't managed to make it work even if it's enabled the bike comes with it disabled but holding the throttle constantly it will not engage cruise control I'm still going to try some other things but uh, there's a big chance that this doesn't work on this controller on P18 you get the uh, ratio of uh, speed here that it's uh, calculate it so if I set that to 150 percent I am get I'm going to get here a 50 percent increase of the shown speed so if I'm doing 10 kilometers per hour the bike can show that it's doing 15 kilometers per hour uh, that's for finally adjusting the display it's a just a simple adjustment leave it at 100 percent because you don't want this to show other things P19 is another setting for the assisted and electric mode and how they work you have the zero setting and the one setting when you uh, you have it selected on zero you have this zero assist mode and this is no assisted mode and no electric mode then you have the assisted mode then you have two speed limits for the electric mode of course in both two and three levels when you have only electric mode you can also use the pedals as they are not going to be assisted so actually the zero setting here it's not very useful in some situations so if i don't want to use this and have less gears here to switch from then i can go to p19 setting and switch this to one and if this is on one the zero assist mode will disappear and when the bike starts it's going to have only this level now zero is not available so i have one assisted mode and two speed limits so uh, less gears to change if i want to run the bike then the p20 setting this is for uh, so i'm going to switch this like that and then on p20 this is uh, for setting up the um, control method between the lcd and the, the controller uh, this uh, even if you manage to change it doesn't have any kind of influence over the working of the bike but it's not changing so don't actually use that setting because it's not going to do anything for your bike or maybe manage to not make this 
work with the controller inside the frame. So don't modify P20. So that was it. Those are all the settings for the uh, controller. I hope that you have enjoyed that and be sure to follow my next uploads where I'm going to have more videos posted regarding this e-bike. Until then, see you and bye-bye.